Okay? Hi guys. So today we're going to discuss about button. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn on how to add button on your form, how to name your button, customize your button. So we are also going to how to change the back color of your button, adding graphics on your button and the others. Also, we are going to add codes on your button and finally, we are going to test the button. So now, we are going to use the Visual Studio 2019. So first things to do is to create a new project. So just click Create New Project. And then, choose. we are going to use a C hash language. Then we are going to select the Windows. And choose the Windows Form App.NET Framework. Just click this and then click next. So name your project. I will just name this into button. Button. Okay. Sorry. Uh, tutorial. Okay. Then click create. So. As you can see, we have here the form, the empty form. So the, how to add the button? So in the left corner of your uh, screen, you can see here the toolbox. Just click in the toolbox and it will show you the common controls, all Windows forms and other parts. So normally it will be like this. And then just click this common control and select the button. So the button is here, you just click, click, and this will click the form and then you can drag according to what size of the button you want. Or you can also drag and then click and remove the left click, then it will add the button so we're going to delete this since we are only uh, we will focus on one button only so here as you can see the button have the text in the center so as I as I mentioned we are going how to name your button so you can click this ones and then on the right button of your screen, you can see here the properties. So in the properties, just locate the text here. And then the button, you can rename this into whatever you like. Maybe I will click this into, maybe I will rename this into start. Then enter so now you can see the text is changed so how to change the text size so you can also locate that in the properties in the properties uh, just locate the font click this and you can see the size as well as the font style so maybe I will uh, 26 okay as you can see it's changing so i don't like this so i will uh, change this into uh, this one okay now you have a start button so if you start this or if you sign like this it will do nothing see nothing happened so now I will teach you how to customize or how to add a code on this. But before that, I will also teach you how to change the color of your button. So the back color of your button, if you don't want white, I will change this into, you can go custom, and maybe I will change this into green. 
and then the start text I will change this into uh, maybe I will change this into darker green okay or more darker or uh, leave it like that see you can now customize so I will add how to add button without clicking this toolbox that have the same so we'll just copy this and then paste then I will change this into red okay and then the text and then the text I will change the text start into stop okay see you can drag select all drag okay now we're going to add a code so just click start double click this then it will show you the that cs screen so here since you double click this once you click it will generate a code now what i want is i will i will change the color of the start into white so first of all go to design click the start and in the uppermost of your properties of the button you can see here the name this one the button one so this is the name of this button and this one this is the button 2 so again I double click button 1 so here is the button 1 then I that so what you want to do with the button so I want the button to change its color or I want the back color to change its color so here back color then equals the color then that what color you want so I want white okay then it should be in a semicolon uh, if you don't add semicolon then it will have an alarm you see there's a red then I will save now I'll go to start to simulate the project you see when I click it it's the color is changed Now, how about the red? So same thing, it will generate another code. Then the name of the button you want to, to add code. And back color, and color. Then what color you want, then white. Then we will start. So you can see now it's all in white now let's make this more challenging so I will change this uh, into white I oh, know I mean uh, I will control Z for the undo but undo we make this white oh white I'm sorry here is white and this one white okay now whenever I press this this one will green so I will change this into green the other one is red so when I press start this will getting green then when I press stop this will getting red and then the start will return back to white so how to do that so we just uh, button button 2 back all white okay because you want the red color to be white when you press the green button I uh, mean the start button 
then the y uh, the start button will change its color into white okay let's simulate see start stop start stop as you can see the project now is getting good okay so it's very easy now what else i want i will delete this we will create another another scenario or no uh, what if when a mouse when the mouse is over your button the color is changed so how to do that so you just click the button that you want to add properties and then you go to where you go here events this one this uh thunder like uh, button a uh, logo so you click this and then just locate the mouse over let's see here then double click this then i want button one to change its color into pink see okay and then simulate so observe the mouse when it this touches to start button then the color of your start will change you see now it's getting pink now whenever I remove the mouse over the button then this will return back to white so now i didn't do that so we will do it so you go to start again then when the mouse is removed here when the mouse is leaving the button then the button one will the button one will return to its white color Okay, so whenever you uh, create a code, then it should be ended with semicolon. Then we'll start the project. See, it's pink. You see, the delay is, if you make it fast, it will not change the color because the response time is high. So we'll go here. Click this. Okay. Uh, okay, and for the stop, you we'll make also in the stop. mouse over button to back color sorry I don't have a good okay also I want pink then mouse leave should uh, return back the button to into its i can copy it copy and paste uh, make it white okay see when i click the green quick so the green will remove since 
the mouse hover is also triggered. Press stop when I release. Red will getting disappear. Okay. 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 So now it's okay. So very easy. I hope you understand my tutorial.